Hello, 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 my friends. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good whatever part of the day it is for you. It is Wednesday, 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 and today is going to be a little bit of a different stream. It's going to be a short stream. I've been talking about doing this for a while, but uh, uh, today is going to be a stream where uh, I do a little planning and just kind of talk and chat with you all while looking at computer parts and uh, online stuff. Uh, look at look at what I would need to do to. Uh, purchase parts to make a new uh, streaming PC because uh, I've been using one PC to stream for a while now and I prefer to have a dual streaming setup so after the holidays I'm hoping I'll be able to afford that so one thing I've been talking about doing that I've been wanting to do is I have an old PC here that is the one I had many years ago and I'm hoping I can use some parts from it so today is going to be a hangout chat with you all stream while I take a part of an old PC, look at parts, see if I can use any other parts or not. And I have a little spreadsheet set up where I'm going to kind of keep track of parts that I do have and then parts I need to buy. The parts that I have listed that I do have are keyboard, which I have, I have a couple keyboards over there. I have this tower, and then I have my capture card. This uh, Elgato HD60 capture card is uh, what I used to use to do a dual PC streaming, so hopefully this will work again. But I'm gonna just start by taking apart this this tower and see what I got. So hopefully I'll have people that'll come by and chat that will know more about PC parts than I do. Help me uh, figure out what I can use. I, I have a feeling of the stuff that I have in this old PC, very little is gonna be usable. So I guess we'll find out. So this little old tower that I have that I think will still work uh, has a little side fan to it. I'm hopeful if nothing else is good, I can still use this uh, still use this old old tower here. So let's see. I'm gonna take out my graphics card first here. This old PC was uh, built by iBuyPower, I think. I think I had this one built or ordered it many years ago, so it's going to have a lot of old parts in it, I think. All right, so here is my video card. It's a GeForce 9600 GT. Uh, and the little covers come off. I think my video card's still good. I don't know if this would be a good enough video card to use, but let me make this note. EVGA GeForce. 9600 GT graphics card. I don't know if that will be useful for a modern day streaming uh, rig or not. Um, I have a fan here. I bet this fan would be usable. I can figure out how to take the fan off here.
The good thing is I haven't used this PC in so long that even if I break something on it, it's probably not a big deal. <laughs> Hopefully it won't break anything, but... I have a feeling the power supply on this is not any good. What's up, Vega? How are you doing, my friend? Okay. I think this fan, you're doing great, nice. I think this fan I have, I have one of these Cooler Master fans in here. I think this is actually might be the same cooling, uh, what is that called? Cooling supply, cooling whatever. I think I have on my new PC. Yeah, it's like a Cooler Master fan thing here. That clips onto this metal piece. But I think this is used to cool, uh, directly cool the processor, I think. Classic Hyper 212 tower cooler. Okay, what's up, Miston? Uh, is it 212? Let's see. Does it have a part number on it? Cooler Master. Uh, it says it's DC 12 volt. I don't know. I don't see a model number on it, but yeah, it says a cooler master. Maybe once I get this metal piece off, it'll have the, uh, part number on it or something. Uh, what for is this PC? Uh, the goal, Miss Nin, is to make a new PC for streaming. Uh, the PC I'm currently using for streaming, I'm doing streaming and gaming on. My plan is to build a PC that is only going to do the streaming for me. So it'll have, you know, OBS Streamlabs on it. Uh, and it'll capture everything from a second PC. That's what I originally built this other PC to game for, was to be my gaming PC while I have a streaming PC, but my laptop that I was using for the streaming PC, you know, kind of died. So yeah, this is a Cooler Master thing. I remember putting the gooey stuff on top of my other PC. Let me, uh, I have some, one of these things to kind of blow out some of the dust out of this thing. Ugh. So I think this fan will be reusable. I might have to just get the little gooey stuff you put on it, but I think this will be a usable fan. I assume this looks familiar to people. I think this is a similar fan to the one I had on my new one that a lot of people have. This FTL mod is great. Mantis Repair in 3D. <laughs> God, I hope I'm better than Mantis Repair. I'm no NG Repair, but I'll be the Ventable Human Repair team, I guess. All right, so I would say this Cooler Master, what would you call this thing? Uh, cool man. I don't know if it's a tower cooler. I think this is the actual the. This is what you use that that uh, cools your processor, right? You'd call it a tower cooler, okay?
All right, so we got a uh, cooler master tower. I guess heat sink, right? Aren't these things called heat sinks? Something like that. Or a fan or something. Uh, okay. So I have some hard drives and stuff. I'm going to take all these out because these are all old. Some might be usable, but I found that one of the things that really slows down my computer is using old, crappy, non-SD or whatever uh, hard drives. Oh, wait, I can get my memory out, actually, first. See what kind of RAM I have here. Corsair VS two GB eight hundred D two. I think that would be what eight hundred megs of these are these are old, so I don't know if these will be any good anymore. But I have two of these, two maybe DDR two. Can you all see that? It was not auto focusing. VS2GB800D2. Um, it's kind of hard to see the uh, see the little tiny things on here. It's Corsair brand. DDR800 mega. Hertz is old. Yeah, okay. I'll still write them down. Uh, you think that's two gigabytes? 800 MGZ? I don't know. Can you tell by how many of these black things are on here? There's eight on this side and eight on this side. I don't know if that <laughs> means anything. I think that's two, gigs, two gigabytes per stack, maybe. Maybe I can do a quick Google search on this. Uh, Corsair VSG B eight hundred D two GB eight hundred D two. What is that? Eight hundred megahertz. So what is that? Is that like? Uh, so it does look like two hundred gigabytes. You can tell by the pin pattern on the bottom. This pin pattern on the bottom, you can tell that. What's up now for streaming? Yeah. So these, these are, I don't know, spec, <laughs> $17. <laughs> That's what they're worth. $17. Okay. Two, uh, Two gigabyte DDR two eight hundred uh, megahertz RAM. Some old RAM. This is an old PC. It's uh, when did I get this one? I think I was in Texarkana when I got this, which was probably around two thousand uh, ten. So it's probably about a 10 year old PC. And I have two more sticks of two gigabyte DDR 2800. Uh, no, it says 800 megahertz on this one. So I think this one says Altex 2 gig DDR 2800, if y'all can see that one. DDRX RAM shenanigans, you're having flashbacks to your last motherboard change? Yeah, I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to use these, but I'm going to mark them down anyway. 2, two gigabyte DDR 2 800 megahertz. It's basically the same thing, RAM. 
Okay. How are you doing now for streaming? All right, so there's my RAM, probably not usable. I'm pretty sure the RAM, the motherboard, and the processor are all for sure gonna need to go away. Now, I showed this earlier, but that was before too many people showed up. I don't know, this graphics card is pretty old too. This uh, GeForce 9600 GT is the graphics card that this has. I don't know if this would be able to do modern day 512 megabytes. I don't know if this would be able to do modern day streaming, capturing. Might run okay if we use Linux. I was actually thinking about if I wanted to use Linux on my on this PC I built because I've not used Linux extensively before. But if I'm not gaming on the thing and I'm just capturing video and potentially um, what's the word? Uh, uh, processing video. Uh, what, what do you do? You, you, I don't, I don't do a lot of video editing, but if I were to do any video editing or, um, that's, uh, 2008. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty old. Like I said, but like so far I can use the I think I can use the fan. That's about what I can use so far. I don't think the power supply is any good either. So I'm going to take out the power supply, I think. I guess the question is, are there, are there different um, tower uh, pieces? Can I, can I, is it, is it too much to hope that I can use the, ha use the tower? Good luck finding a new video card. They're sold out everywhere. I know. I know, Ken Rack. One reason why I'm doing this so I can kind of figure out what I need to start looking for. You have two separate PCs, one for playing, another for streaming. That's the goal. I'm gonna, I want to have a separate one that's going to do the streaming, which is going to capture using this Elgato, Elgato capture card or if I need to get a better one. This is what I used to use for two PC streaming until my old laptop broke. I want to build a PC that's only going to be doing the streaming side of things. The towers in the Dell or an HP, it should be fit a standard ATX motherboard. Okay, cool. It's, you can kind of see it here. Hold it up. It's kind of a standard tower, I think. It's got a, an Asus motherboard, I think. So. I think that'll be usable. Uh, if this is for capturing and streaming only, you don't think I'd even need a GPU? Um, oh, I guess that's true, because you can stream... I use graphics card for streaming on a single PC, but uh, you can have it all be done by the processor, can't you? You can either choose to use graphics card or the other. A decent APU? What's an APU? Is that the uh, is that the processor? Is that the Intel processor or whatever? Uh, but I am gonna. I'm definitely gonna have to take the power supply out. Let me do that next. I've only ever built one PC, and that was with a little help. So. I'm hoping you all and the internet can help me figure out what I actually want to do because I don't think I need to invest two grand into a streaming PC that doesn't need to game or anything. Oh, okay, so that would be a CPU with graph, uh, a GPU integrated. Interesting. Are those, those aren't like sold out like just straight up graphics cards, right? Like if, uh, what's the number on the power supply? Crap, drop the screw. Uh, uh, let, me, let me take it out and show you, and you all will know the numbers better than I will.
I honestly think when I stopped using this PC, one of the issues I had was the power supply going out. So I doubt I want to even try to use this thing. Ugh. It's all wired into everything. Uh, let me see if I can show this. Model number PSU Hush 680 US. A total of 680 watts. Frequency 60 slash 50 hertz. Uh, I don't know if that tells you info. Uh, Ends in a W, what you're asking me for. Ends in a, oh, 680 watt. I think that's what you're asking. So yeah, I think this is a super old one that will not, that I would need to replace anyway. All right. Uh, let me start taking out all my hard drives and stuff. Hmm. Do I have to take these out from the front or the back? Let's see. There's so much dust. <laughs> uh, if it's an old PSU, then you might just want to get a fresh one just out of safety's sake. Yeah, I think I think you're right, slow rider. That's probably what I'll do. 680 is plenty unless you start adding some serious hardware. Well. This is old, and I think for safety's sake, I would just want to buy a new power supply. Find out that after about seven to eight years, they crap out. Yeah, I got some good hard use out of this PC. So I don't think it's worth hoping my power supply unit will be good. Uh, <laughs> you could tell it's an old PC. I have two CD drives. I have zero on my new thing, but this one's got two CD drives. Uh... Got a card reader writer? What the hell is this? For SD card. What even is this card reader? I don't even know what this is. I'm gonna move my camera if y'all are familiar with what this is. I don't think I've seen this on newer PCs. Uh says like a card reader writer. SD Micro SD? I don't even know what that's for. Oh, is that for digital cameras? Is that what that is? Okay, I didn't even know this thing had that. Uh, your PSU is only 500 watt and it works. You had to uh, disassemble it recently to oil up the fan. You tried an old one, it was faulty and caused you hard drive problems for several years. You had no idea it was caused until you had to swap it every other part of the computer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a toothpick holder. <laughs> All right, well, let me see if I can figure out. I want to take out all these drives because I would definitely want a new hard drive. You've heard of some people who use a CD drive as a cup holder. <laughs> May you ask how much I'm willing to spend on new equipment? Sure. Um, uh, one thing I will be upfront about, because a lot of people have asked about this, because I've talked about building this new PC, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be having um, basically a ticker on the stream for people who want to donate. So I, I want to, if I can help it, I want to probably try to keep this under one grand to 1500 I could I could afford to spend more, but since this is a, a, a PC that's going to be literally only for streaming, not gaming, I feel like I can make this a cheaper build. And I feel like one thousand to fifteen hundred is about what I would want to spend at most. So, uh, I think that's a reasonable number. 
Uh, right now your computer's working, but it's running a small motherboard because that was the only option you had. It's se severely lacking in USB ports, and that sucks. Okay, there are a lot of plastic pieces keeping these drives in, and I'm not exactly sure how to get them out of here. Okay, that moved. All right. I wonder if I need to take this other side off to get into this. Okay. You can tell when I got this thing, I don't didn't really get into the insides of computers because I only thing I've ever done on this PC is probably added RAM to it. So, you think the front might need to come completely off? You might be right about that. Uh, let me see if I can get the power supply completely disconnected here. I don't think I can because there's a red wire going to probably LEDs in here. Which, if there are LEDs I need to connect, that'll be a fun thing to do. Fun lol. So how do I get the front off of this thing? We've got some screws here. I think there are screw caps or something on this. I do not know how to remove the front of this. You remember when I built this PC on stream? This is actually a different PC. This is the one before the one I built, Fire. Ah, uh, do I need to remove the other side first? Okay, that's, that's doable. But yes, I did, I did build the one that I'm streaming right now on, on, on stream. You're right, Fire. Okay. What happened to the one I built? Nothing. I'm using it. <laughs> This is a project to make a new one so I can stream on a... Basically, I want to do a dual PC setup for streaming rather than the single that I'm using. Uh, I was doing... I've said this a couple times, but I was doing dual PC streaming for a while, and then the laptop that I used to do the streaming died on me. So that's why I want to build another one. Just those two screws. Screws on the bottom, maybe. What kind of CPU in here? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I could probably tell what the motherboard is right now. It says Asus on it. Um, I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell what kind of motherboard. I might actually be able to use this motherboard. Although, if I wanted to do onboard graphics card or something, would that be that would be on onboard the motherboard, right? Is there a processor in there? It's it's behind this little guy right here. It's hard to see since it's far from the camera. I'll I'll bring the camera in closer. Hopefully you all can see. This is the motherboard right here. I think that's the processor. It's got the goop from the cooler still on it. But uh, I see Asus. I don't. I don't see a made in China. I don't see a model number on it or anything. I probably have to take it out to really see it. 
Looks like an Asus M2N motherboard. Okay. Okay, why can I not get this side panel off? Flathead screwdriver to... Flathead to see if I can pry it back a little bit. There it goes. There we go. Yeah, good call. I think I gotta unscrew these hard drives from this side. You recommend wiping the thermal place out the CPU before taking out? Okay, cool. Is there any special way to do that or just get a paper towel and wipe it off? I don't know if I need to like Use some special solvent like I made in Magnum Opus yesterday. Um, no need to remove front panel. I hope not. That would be nice to not have to remove the front panel. But with how, um, uh, paper towel and rubbing alcohol, okay. CD-ROMs exit from front, not from inside case. Okay. Okay. I kind of like the idea of getting just an onboard video card with how impossible it is to get video cards right now. I kind of like that idea. If I can get an onboard video card, then I wouldn't have to worry about overpaying by thousands or having to wait a year to find one. Okay. Now the screws are gone. Now I just need to actually unplug the damn thing. I could not unplug the damn There we go. There we go. Okay. Hey, those are coming out now. Okay. So I have a a DVD write master drive that doesn't matter. <laughs> DVD write master disk drive. You know it's an old PC when you still have a bunch of DVD drives on it. Uh, I think Fire, this PC is from between 2008 and 2010. So it's over 10 years old. The discs, disk drives are worthless, yeah. Yeah, this is just a DVD ROM drive. Still gonna write down that I have them but I don't think they're useful at all. <laughs> CD, ROM, disk, drive. They'll have manufactured date. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see if there's a date on here. Yeah, I think 2008, 10, 20. So 2008. <laughs> How long ago is that now? Uh, what year is it? 2021? So, like, 13 years old? Onboard video isn't that great for gaming? Right, but this PC I'm planning is not for gaming, it's only for streaming. So, you keep your old drive just to play games? Yeah. Okay, well that's out, so that's good. How do I unplug the rest of this power supply? That unplugged. Is it Alienware? Uh, I think 
It was from a company called iBuyPower, which I think is still around because I think Shogi might have gotten the PC from them. But I think I got this from iBuyPower in like 2008, 2009. You once had the idea for a streaming card because you feel like there'd be a market for that. iBuy is still around? Yeah. Yeah, that's where I got this one from. All right. So I think what I have up here are power supplies plugged in, I think, to some LEDs. Trying to find out how to unplug it so I can get this power supply completely out of here. But again, if nothing else, I think this tower is certainly going to be usable. piece I'm trying to pull out here. I think that's holding in some wires. I can't get to this thing. Uh, it looks like it should be okay for this age as motherboards. Yeah. Just get NVIDIA to sponsor your video card problem solved. Yeah. Getting sponsors is so easy. Oh man, there's this one wire plugged into, I think it's plugged into this front little panel here, and I do not know how to get to that. Probably plugged into the power button, honestly. Uh, How do I get access to that when it's up in this junk? Yeah, I think this black piece here is like where all the power plugs are, and I don't know how to get up into that. PC, the power supply doesn't go to the power button. Well, there's something going from the power supply that's going to this front thing. There's a red and black wire here. It might just be an LED that it is here. Front panel is probably the power button. You have to disconnect it from the power button. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get to that, though. Ugh. There's also... Okay, here we go. Some stuff on the other side here, maybe I can get access to. This front part over here. If you can see, there's little wires going into the front panel here. I think those are probably plugging into, there's a fan up here and some other pieces. That feels like I do need to take the front panel off. Can I zoom in on the problem? Okay, I'll try. There's so many wires on the internal PC and my camera cable is short. So here's a big crap ton of wires right all here. There's a wire up here. It's going into the front, into the front panel up in here. That's, there's also wires 
going down around to the front panel, which makes me think I need to take the front panel off. So I need to figure out how to take the front panel off. Um, which, okay, I see some like plastic push screw kind of things that maybe I can get here. You don't mean this to sound is pointing. You think only parts of this I can salvage would be happy with are the tower and keyboard. That's that's fine, said no one. That doesn't make me sad. That's kind of what I was expecting. Uh, I think you're wrong, though, because I think I can use the Cooler Master heatsink. I think will be usable. Okay. So that's another thing. Yeah, there's these plastic with holes things. I think that's what I need to do. You need little tiny fingers to do this, and my fingers are kind of kind of small. Maybe I can use little needle nose pliers to. Get those going. You disconnect everything from the motherboard first. Okay, I can do that. That's a good idea. I think everything is unplugged from the motherboard now. I think that's clear. Getting another year or two out of the power supply is certainly possible. Uh, I'd rather just replace it now. This PC is old enough. There's no reason to use an old power supply. If I'm rebuilding the thing now, I should just rebuild what I'm going to rebuild now. Okay, there we go. There's one side of the panel coming off. Good. And to me, power supply is not super easy to replace. I mean, this one is already plugged all the way into the front panel, so I wouldn't want to have to redo all this just to replace a power supply in a year. All the thin wires are only soldered to the front panel, huh? No, there's one little plastic push screw thing at the very bottom and a little tiny hole. Uh, use Linux and Linux and upgrade best plan. 
No need to upgrade, use Linux. Well, I'm thinking about using Linux, but I don't think I could use this PC even with Linux without upgrading, with how old it is, cosmic, cushy. Four gigabytes of RAM, definitely could. Well, I want to run a 1080, 1920 by 1080p stream through this thing. I, this thing is old. I want to upgrade. <laughs> I want to spend the money and upgrade. And I might do that and use Linux. I don't know. I've not used Linux before, but I might want to try that. Uh, uh, Linux is usable these days. Plastic with hinges and holes. Just jam some small screwdriver and hole. Add a little push. Okay, little screwdriver in the hole. I'll try that. Well, it's one of those where you have to like pinch it and push. And I don't think just pushing from the middle is working for me here. Last guy here. There we go. I think it's coming. Feels like it's coming off, but it's caught somewhere. Okay. At least, by the way, the flat white orange cable looks like SATA. Okay. Okay, I see wires plugged in behind the thing. Those front panel look like two cracks, so be gentle. I'll try, I'm trying. It's this bottom part right here. This is the last piece that needs to come out, I think. Of course, it's this goddamn bottom stuck in a little tiny little hole one that won't come out. Christ almighty. There. It's through. Why will we not come out? Is this connected to something else here? I wonder if the fan on the front is... Oh, uh, I think this fan is screwed in. How the hell am I supposed to unscrew that? Okay, so I'm seeing, I don't know if y'all are familiar with this kind of thing. There's a fan. God, it's all black. 
Let me get a light. There's a fan right there. And I believe the fan is screwed in from the back. How the hell would I get a screwdriver behind this to unscrew the fan? Did I remove the card reader? Uh, you know what? I didn't. So maybe I need to remove that. It's a little tiny thing in there. Uh, if it's integrated in case, don't remove the fan. Okay. I think the fan, I think the K, the fan is integrated in the case. I think maybe it is the card reader that's holding it in. God, it's in a tiny little freaking metal thing here. How the hell do I get that out? Jesus, man. You assume I have no space in my desk for a top-down camera view. No. The, the issue is my... I can unplug my camera to get a longer wire, which I thought I had an extender on this thing. Hold on a sec. Maybe I can show you all more. I have an extension cable somewhere, but I don't know what it is, and I'm not going to look for it right now. You think if the card reader is integrated in case, don't remove it. Well, I don't know if it's integrated or not. What I can't tell is what's keeping the front panel from coming off. Move some. Fucking bottom piece keeps getting back in there. Came out and back in again. Can we remove the top panel? Um it's got these metal stud looking things in it. I don't know how to remove those. They almost look like tacks more than they are screws. That makes me think that's not supposed to be removed. Yes, it's an old case. It's old PC parts. It's all old. <laughs> it's all old. Okay. 
all these parts are out, but the front panel is still not coming out because of something. I don't know what the something is. Did I check on cider? Uh, okay, I don't know what those letters are. You gotta write out your sentences and spell check yourself. I have no idea what you just said. S R B is slobber. I have no idea what you just said. Bottom has plastic chips. I don't know. This comes out and then goes back in. This piece of shit. Okay. So these parts are all out, and there's still something holding this in. Is it this card reader? I see another, I think it might be the card reader. I think the card reader does need to come out somehow. You check on the sides for screws that are holding panels. Sometimes they put them to more secure for front panel. There's, no, the front panel, there are no side screws. There are no side screws on this front panel. Dust everywhere. I think it's the card reader. And I don't know how to get this thing out of here. I can unplug it maybe. Hey, there's a plug that came out. Okay. I think this comes out the same way as the disk drives do out the front, you think? You know what, I can take off these pieces of these panels right now. Maybe I can get to it better. Okay, well this thing is definitely stuck. I'm trying to push on it and it is not coming out. I think the card reader is screwed in somewhere. I don't see side screws like I did on the other one. Aha! I think there is a side screw on the card reader here that I missed. Okay, this might do it. Stupid little card reader I never used. And this thing not want to come apart. Okay. Please tell me that. Well, let me remove this thing. There we go. Yes. This piece of crap little thing here. Freaking video camera card reader or something. I'm not even a list that on parts I have. Ah oh, ha ha! Front panel is off. Okay. GG cookie time. Okay. Uh, now I need to unplug these things so I can remove the power supply completely.
We did it, Reddit. We did it. Okay. Yeah, so I got wires going into the top of these things. I'm a little afraid to remove these, but I feel like I need to. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Maybe not all these are going to the power supply. Let me take the wires out. I can. I'm not sure what else I'd be plugging into, but I'm pretty sure this red and black wire here is going to the power supply. Uh, okay. What is this even going to? I wonder if this is powering. If this is even powering. Just an LED down here or something. There's an inner panel to the front panel that it looks like I might need to unscrew to get access to these other wires. Which is super fun. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to remove that. The PMs in the front panel basically never get to the power supply front panel wires. At least one of them does, I can guarantee you, Vega, because I can see it. There's a black and red wire that I can trace directly back. To the power supply, I'm thinking, looks like to me anyway. I think there's one wire, if not more, that is. Well, I knew this was going to take a while. I don't know that I'm going to be able to... Well, we'll have a, I'll probably finish taking apart this last piece and then we'll start looking at what I need to probably put on my list of things to buy to maybe figure out a price range, maybe after this. Okay. All right, how many screws do I need to remove? Probably all of them. Fine. God, if I use this tower, I want to make it so that these wires are not all it's making it so hard to fall apart or pull apart, man. This just seems way more trouble than it's worth. Maybe I can not even have this front panel on, although the front panel's got the power power buttons, I don't know. Alright, that's this little piece that's now. Aha, this is where the wires connect to. And they go even further inside. <laughs> oh, Jesus. How is this little thing going to the power supply, man? This black and red wire right here. Okay, well, more screws I can take out.
I think the thin black red wire have to have a connector in there somewhere. Yeah, there should be. Some of these wires look soldered in from what I'm seeing, but I don't know. It's hard to tell when it's all in these little freaking boxes here. All right, here we go. The red and black wire is going to whatever this thing is. Oh, here's some plugs. Okay, I can unplug these, I think. Although I don't know if I should. What does this set of wires go to? This set of wires goes to... Okay, that set of wires goes to the motherboard, so I don't need to unplug that. Because I've already unplugged the motherboard side. It's just this red and black wire I think I need to get rid of. And maybe this... What's this other black wire? Too? I think, I think a lot of these go to the motherboard. I think it's just this red and black one that goes to the power supply. Make a picture first, do you think? Okay. I'm not actually going to unplug those. I'm going to unscrew this piece where this black and red wire is because I know that black and wet, red wire is going to the power supply. Here we go. This little thing right here, I can unplug, I think. Uh, am I right about that, that I can unplug you? Yes, I can. Okay. I don't know if you all know what this thing is. This little thing that's in the front panel. I don't know what it is, but it's what that thing was plugged into. LCD is a play for temperature. That might you might be right about that. Okay, well I got it out. Now there's a little tie up here that I think I just gotta cut this tie off. Let me get scissors to cut this tie off. Okay. So many stinking wires. There we go. This little black and red wire right here, this is what was keeping all this in there, I think. So let me see. What is still plugged in? Okay, there's still a bottom piece plugged in down here too, to the frickin' 
power supply, I think. <laughs> this is such a mess. What's up, not Garner? Uh. Okay, so there's a power supply cable going to this front fan, I think, too, actually. Maybe I can unplug it here. Ooh, that would be great. There, okay. Okay, anything else I can unplug? Oh, this, okay. Actually, I wonder if that black and red cable I was worried about, actually I can just unplug back here. <laughs> All right, power supply free, we did it. All right, this thing is free and I'm not gonna probably Use this guy, but we've got this thing out. Good thing I've got that CD-ROM drive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, power supply free. After all that, I probably didn't even need to take off the front panel, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Ugh. I wanted to see how it all plugged in or something. Okay. The last thing would probably be remove the motherboard. Although I guess while the motherboard's in there, I can look at what the processor is, right? Because I wonder if I was wanting to use onboard video card, that would be onboard me that's connected hardwired whatever into the uh, motherboard, right? Where's my anti-static wrist strap? I don't have one of those. Okay, I need to just start unscrewing stuff here. Okay. Screw. Aha, all right. And there's the motherboard right there. You hate the irony of breaking apart, breaking apart on 3D printer, huh? <laughs> Don't pull CPU from motherboard. On AMD CPUs, it's easily to bend pins if CPU is out. Okay, I won't take it out. 
Um, I'm going to try to wipe off the paste or whatever it is on this thing, though. Thermal paste, if that's what it's called. Wipe it off on there and also on my fan here. Which I plan on reusing this fan. All right, so here's my motherboard. AMD. Athlon 64X2, uh, 2005 AMD. Yeah, this is an AMD processor. This is an older one, that's for sure. You want to reuse the motherboard? In this case, you might need might need to change the CMOS battery. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to reuse this motherboard. I think I want to get a new motherboard, a new processor. Is a fan from that vintage going to work with newer components? Well, I guess that is a question. I think so, because I'm pretty sure that's the same fan I'm using in my new PC. The motherboard model is below the first white PCIe. What's the PCIe? Is it is that this guy? Oh, is it this MT, M2A VM? M2A-VM ASUS, that might be the model number. M2A-VM, okay. So I guess the next question I want to ask is, what, if I'm going to use this tower to build a streaming PC, what specs do I want? What specs do I want? The cooler is a Cooler Master 212 EVO. They're still made today. Yeah, I think, I think the Cooler Master is going to be certainly fine. I think that'll be... Super useful. Uh, I'll write down the motherboard. It's the uh, Asus M2A-VM motherboard. Not planning on using that. I'm going to highlight the things I think I'm going to use, which are basically keyboard and tower. I think that's about all I'm probably going to use. Uh, oh, Cooler Master. We can use this. Everything else, I mean, if I get an onboard graphics card, I could probably still plug this one in and have it be potentially usable, but I don't know. <laughs> Just needed updated bracket for 212. Uh, oh, I I'll need a different bracket for the, the cooler? Okay, that's definitely doable. Okay, let me do a little bit of a search here. Um, Recommended specs for streaming PC 1920 by 1080. Uh, the power supply I have is old. I'm not going to use it. It's um, it's a 680 watts. I'm playing, building a computer to play Apex. No, that's not what's happening. All right. Uh, building a PC for streaming. PC for streaming. Uh, uh, let's see here. This is, these are giving me full things here. I kind of want to know specs. All right. Uh, better components you'll need. I feel like a good start is an AMD Risen Nine. Okay, well let's look at. Um, I think the first things we'd want to look like look at were would be CPU and motherboard, right? AMD Risen Thirty Six Hundred. You can stream 1080p while playing on PC with no problem. 
So uh, where where's a good place to look? Uh, what I think I there was a isn't there a Reddit build a PC thing? At one point, let me see if I have my bookmark still here. New PC stuff. PC final build. Let me see. PC part picker. This is one something I, I did. Can I do a? Okay. So choose a CPU. So uh, you you all, you all are recommending uh, Risen AMD 9 3600. There's a five. There's a nine. <laughs> Uh, AMD Risen 9, that's one of the more expensive ones right now. That needs, what, 150, 105 watts? Here's Francis John's recent build. Let me take a look at that. Okay, how much do you spend? 2200 That's definitely more than I'm planning to spend on mine. Um... Was he doing this to game and stream on the same PC? Okay, he's got a monitor. I actually might want to do a monitor too. I want to do another monitor. Uh, I would need the tower case. Where's his big numbers coming from? Oh, the monitor is the big price there. Yeah, the 3600 you recommended is this one, AMD5 which is about, what is that, 200 bucks cheaper. Um, so if I were to do something like this AMD Risen 5 3600, and uh, let's look at motherboards here. Uh... The extra just CPUs, so they'd need a dedicated GPU. Uh, is is when you say a dedicated GPU, is that hold on, let me go back. Is that for the CPU? When we say onboard video card, is that that's for this processor here? AMD with GPUs are marks with a G on the end of CPU name. Ah, so it'd need to be something like this 5600G if I wanted to do onboard video graphics card. Okay, so there's only one AMD, or at least uh, one that I'm seeing here. Risen 5 5600G, okay. Which, that's what I'm thinking I'd like to do since I don't plan on gaming with this thing. That's a nice GPU, nice CPU six core, 12 treads. Okay, so if I do something like this, I come 5600G is less expensive than the 5600X. I have no idea. Okay, so let's look at motherboards. Um, so what do I have to match that to? I need a 550 chipset. So something that says 550 here. Asus or Gigabyte. It's like this Asus 550. Don't go with MSI, okay. Uh, so here's an S Asus 550. Uh, filter by AM4 sockets, okay. Uh, these are all AM4s here. Am I crazy? Uh, or can I do here? Can I do this? AM4. G, don't have a display port output. Okay. Yeah, I think it automatically is doing that, actually. Um, well, what I will say, Peter Tux, is if, if I can use... As as long as the motherboard has, I, I could use this graphics card. This graphics card's nothing amazing, but I could use this just to output to a display while the, while the capturing is actually still done by, I think, the, the processor, right?
I need a PCI X interface. Okay. Is that what this kind of video card is? A PCI X? Um, this graphics card is a GeForce 9600 GT. It's an older one. Can you all tell the pins there? What type that is? It's PCIe. How can you tell? Does it say on there anywhere? Oh, yeah. It says PCIe right there. Okay, so this is PCIe. So I would need this to have a PCI Express, I guess. Because um, I think, you all correct me if I'm wrong, but if I get that um, processor that we just did, if I use this just for, dis use this old graphics card, that would be fine, right? Because all, all I would need that for would be to display it to a monitor, and the uh, actual capturing would be done by the processor, I think. the Not the video processor, but the... CPU instead of the GPU. So somebody said 550. Uh, and Ace is tough. I don't know about if I want tough. That's actually what my laptop is, and I don't love that. What about this one? Mm. It's an APU, so the graphics card is unnecessary. Okay. Um, let me see here. I feel like I'd want to spend a little bit more than just a hundred bucks on this part. Okay. Well, I mean, having an extra graphics card wouldn't hurt it, right? If I plug the thing in, I could use the thing. I don't know what I would use it for, but I can plug it in. What am I looking for here? Uh, higher max memory is better, I assume. What is the form factor? Do I care about ATX? I don't. I don't know what a lot of these things mean. You would not go with the G processor, you'd get the 3600X and use a cheap video card. Form factor matches case. Looking for display port. Okay. Uh, the thing is, there's no such thing as a cheap video card, Peter Tuck, so I don't like that idea. That's part of the reason why we're looking at getting an onboard graphics card. Because I'm not gaming with this, I'm only capturing with this. I don't care about that. Display port as an up output. I don't think I see those things here. Um, so if I just choose one of these, what can I choose? 550. Something that says Ace is 550 or something. Integrated graphics card might actually be faster than 9600 GT. Uh, let me just click a random one here. Will it tell me in here if it's got... What am I looking for? PCIe? Um, PCIe slots? You recommend standard ATX. Is that what I'm looking at or not? Okay, you're talking about no micro or mini ATX. Gotcha. Can I sort these by rating? Okay. So I'm looking at one that's just 550 standard ATX. So something like this. What does this one look like? This one here. The B Gigabyte B50 Gaming X should be good. Make sure my case is ATX too. So PCIe times 16 slots, that means that will fit this, right? Not that I care that much if I'm getting this onboard graphics card, but it... I can put that in there. Okay. Uh, only three case fan headers, no USB-C header. 
Uh, what was the one that SRB said gigabyte B550? Where was that? Was that this one? B550 Gaming X, you said. Where was that? Gigabyte B550 Gaming X. Where did you see that one? This one here. ATX. Uh, PCIe. Okay. Okay. This one looks good, I think. If I add this to the build, uh, not buy, how do I add, let me go back. To Gigabyte, what do you say, 550 game AX, this one here. Building a new rig, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so, Cooler, I don't think I need because of the fan I have, but is there a way to tell if it's, if this thing will fit on a processor? Am I sure my current M2A VM motherboard isn't micro ATX? I don't know. How do I, here it is. Here it is. How do I tell if this is micro ATX? Does it say that somewhere? Maybe I just need to look up this model. Asus M2A VM. Let me just do a Google search on that. Asus M2A VM. See by the number of slots you have available and the format itself. Uh, How do I manual? Can I see? It's a socket AM2 motherboard ancient. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know the answer to the question if it's ATX or not. Easiest way is to count the slots on the back. Is that these slots right here? Is that what you're talking about? These slots? I think that's mini ATX. Does that matter though? Because my case is huge, right? So the question is if this case will fit a non ATX, I guess. On the case, you can count the number of slots. Uh, Okay, I'm tearing up this table, by the way. Can you all see the number of slots? Maybe you all can tell me. These are the slots I'm looking at. Are you talking about those bottom slots down there? There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like seven slots down there. So that should be ATX, not mini ATX, right? So that means this ATX should be fine, right? Okay, so I think this is fine. I think we're compatible there. So I wouldn't need to buy a case since I'm using this case. Just don't get anything bigger. Okay, I will go with that. Um, I would definitely need memory. Uh, so... Was it 30, 32 gigabytes of RAM at least, probably? They say eight, but I'd want plenty more, probably. We have a graphics output. I don't know what that means. You mean a monitor? You think 16 should be enough? I have these, I've used these rip jaws before. I'd probably just do these um, 16 gigabytes right here. Need to watch it with that case regarding the length of the GPU and PSU as well as height of CPU cooler. Okay. 
I'll tell you right now, bolster balls. Let me show you. Ouch. This plus this. Mm. This plus this was my cooler on there, and it fit. I don't know if you can see this thing. It's one of these Cooler Master guys that fit in there, so I don't think size-wise we're going to have a problem. Uh, on the motherboard, you recommend fast RAM because it's an APU. Well, what does fast RAM mean? Is that that has to do with the DDR numbers on there? It's Cooler Master TX3, okay. Uh, so is speed is it the higher number the faster DDR4 3200 is faster I'm looking at DDR4 3600 with CL16 or CL17 okay it's not that critical I'm going to go with I, I think I've bought this this ripped jaw I think is what I'm using in my current one. There's 32 gigabytes, there's 16. I'm, I think I would go with 32 just to have plenty. Group saw 32 for 100 bucks, I would do something like that. CL equals CAS latency, okay. All right, I would need a uh, definitely a hard drive. Now, was it? Uh, Ren or Nietzsche or somebody who's talking about there's something is there something faster than SD drives now SSD drives SSDs whatever is there something else that people are using now M2 I wonder if this motherboard has a has anything for that M2 drives I feel like I'm not seeing that type here right SSD Go back to the motherboard. Okay. So look at the motherboard. The drive is like an add-in card. You put into a small slot, screw it down parallel motherboard. It said how many M2 slots I had. M2 slots. Okay. So it has these two slots. So this means I could get an M2 drive or something. I'm not mistaken. That has two slots. If I look at storage, M2. Oh, form factor. Okay, it's this. Look for NVMe capable M2, not the default SATA. Okay. Um, NVMe capable. Where would I see that? Uh, there's like a terabyte for a hundred bucks. NVMe is much faster in the motherboard manual specs. What? Uh, I'm a little confused about NVMe. Am I, am I supposed to be looking at, is that in the motherboard you're talking about? Is that different than M key or what? It says NF, NVMe yes on the left in the drive specs. NVMe yes. There's M key and P key. P key is SATA, okay. So we would want M key and not SATA. I am not seeing whatever NM, NVMe you're talking about. Maybe I'm missing something. On the drive specs, okay. This is on the storage. So like if I look at this Samsung here, 
a terabyte SSD M2 um, NVMe yes so this right here so this would work right okay that looks that looks pretty good so let's take that Samsung to terabyte um, I guess I could look at two terabytes if I want to, but I think starting with a terabyte here is probably fine. Francis John got the Samsung 980 Pro one terabyte. Yeah. Uh, so mine's 970. It's talking about how great it was. That's super high end. Yeah, I don't think I probably need to go that high end, honestly. Uh, yeah, one terabyte will be good to start. We're not doing a video card. We're not doing a case. I would need a power supply. So I do not want to use this power supply that I have. Uh, this is best bang for the buck that we just chose. Yeah, okay. You got a second one for 84 bucks. Yeah, I might do like a second one, but I have an external drive that I only use occasionally that Shogi got for me too. So I'm not too worried about hard drive space. Um, okay, what are we looking at here? Is there any wattage that I need to be worried about here. EVGA G3 is great for the money. So is Corsair TX. Do I see Corsair TX? I see Corsair TX Gold here. Those are both 550 watts. Anything above 400 is perfectly fine, even with a GPU. Okay, 550 is plenty. Okay. So, uh, EVGA G3. Okay. All right. Um, operating system. So I can get free windows or, um, people recommend, uh, maybe just using Linux on this. Used to review PSUs professionally. Nice. Yeah, I don't plan on buying Windows. <laughs> what are we looking at so far? 700, that's cheap. I, I think I do. I really, really love this Asus monitor I have. I've been thinking I might want to get another one anyway. Linux is kind of, kind of a high learning curve. Yeah, I've heard. Um, if I can remember, I think it was this VG24. I think it's this thing, right? Is it that one? What model do I have? Because I really, really like this monitor. I've been thinking I might want to get a second one. Don't you need to run my streaming software on this rig? Uh, yes. Is everything I want going to run on Linux? I don't know. That's a good question that I don't know the answer to. I would want to run um, OBS Streamlabs would be the main thing I'd want to run on that. God, which one is this? It's one of these Asus, I think. What's the like highest rated one? Uh, OBS runs on Linux, yeah. What size is this? God, I can't even remember which one this is. Can I look at bookmarks, PC stuff, video card rebate form. Will this tell me what? No, not video card. That's not what I want. It's um, that's an old promotion thing there. New PC stuff. It was the one second. These are all old invoices, but I don't want to show anything on stream. But I don't want to. That's old. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see which. Which monitor I got. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna see that. So OBS has an official build for Ubuntu. I'd be fine doing that. Okay, let me go to the back of this monitor, see if I can figure out which monitor this is. VG two four eight QE.
VG248QE. This one right here. I think it's this guy right here. You can look at the NVIDIA control panel. Okay, well, I think, I think that looks right. 24 inch. My old cooler won't fit with the new CPU. Have a look at the dark rock cooler. It's great and silent. Uh, so you're saying this, this one wouldn't fit with the, uh, CPU I got? Expensive? 231, I don't feel like is that expensive for a monitor. I don't think that's too bad. The bracket won't fit? Okay, well, if I look at, I don't think, uh, coolers are very expensive anyway. What did you recommend? Dark Rock 4. Talking about this guy right here. Oh, you think that's expensive? Yeah, 89. What were you saying? Scythe Fuma 2? Where's that one? Scythe Fuma 2, 60 bucks. Oh, uh, it looks like there's this. It's cheaper. I'm trying to keep this not... Uh-oh. Compatibility warning. Wattage. What is, what is the compatibility warning it's giving me? I think that might be for the cooler. PSU. Power supply. So... It looks like maybe this... Cooler won't work with that power supply? No. Uh, look for Cooler Master 212 EVO. There's, a, there's this one. Isn't that what I have? Is this not what I have? This looks exactly like what I have. Since I'm seeing this and this is what I have, I don't think I need to buy this. Just the bracket. I have it sol smaller brother. I need the AM4 bracket. Okay. Uh, so I. <laughs> so I would need a different bracket. Can you buy just the bracket? Is the bracket like this? These little pieces here. Is it this bracket that I have the wrong bracket for or something? All right, um, okay. So what, what is estimated watt, wattage? So is my power supply not gonna work here? What is, what is giving me my, my thing here? What was it, the EVGA something that I had picked? I already forgot what it was. Uh, which one was it? It was EVGA. Can you all help me remember? What was it? It was a 550 wattage one, I think. Damn it, I don't even remember which one it was now. Is the EVGA G3? Is that what it was? G2. G3. Was it this one? Yeah, I think it was that one. Okay, so... You think it's a monitor? Okay. Why it's still giving me this warning? I keep taking pieces off, and it's not getting rid of the warning. Aces, VG. Oh, God, and now I'm Aces, VG. GQ. It was the one that was 200 and something. 
Where was it? It was like 231 or something. You think it didn't populate the PSU power rating correctly? Just ignore the message. Okay, all right. Uh, this is not the one that it was. This is 133 megahertz, I think. Let me, let me, uh, let me see. It's 100 or a 144 megahertz, maybe. Because I really want this same monitor because I really like this one. So where was it? I think it was this one right here. Yeah. Yeah. VG248QE. That was the one. Thank you. Okay. So... I think so I would need to get a different bracket for the cooler is the only thing I'm really missing right you're back to 3000 in storybook brawl nice got three so the cooler master EVO I mean this is 45 bucks I guess I could just get a new one. It seems weird to get a new one when I have one and I just need the bracket. Oh, we all are. It's a monthly reset. Okay. So maybe I can just look for the bracket. Um, what were you all telling me? It's a... Uh, I wonder if I can make a note that I just need to buy the bracket or something. So we're we're just under a thousand right now. Um, the other thing I would need to think about. Um, is I don't think I'd need a new capture card. I think my capture card will work OK. Just get a bracket from a local. I have a there's a there's a computer store near me. What is that place called? Like it's one of the. In Dallas. I'm, I'm, I think I can show. I don't know if I should show Google Maps, but uh, let me Google Maps. There is a place fairly close to me that's got, yeah, Micro Center. There's a Micro Center near me. I would bet I could probably get something like that in a Micro Center, do you all think? Do you all know? I don't know if uh, a place like that would have brackets. Yeah, Micro Center. So I could probably get that bracket there. Can you all tell me what what I would need to... I'm gonna copy and paste each of these pieces. What are the specs that I'm looking at for um, the bracket thing? I guess I could just say needs different bracket size. I need one specifically for CM Hyper 212. CM Hyper 212. AM4 bracket. AM4 four, four bracket. I might have to order that online. I don't know if that's something I can just find. Okay. And so let me do the price on each of these. AMD Arisen 5 was 282.11, 282.11. Uh, so I'm gonna copy paste these things in case I lose this for whatever reason. So that is 122.67. Okay, this guy is 99.97. Okay, uh, this drive is one nineteen possibly a PC repair shop could have it. CM used to sell them directly, not sure if they still do. Noctua sells brackets separately. Your brand, I'm not sure. What prompted the new build? Are things broken? Uh, Nothing's broken except my laptop a long time ago. I've been using a single PC streaming PC, uh, 
single PC streaming setup for a year or more now, Flirtin, and it's because my laptop broke that I used to stream on. And 7561. I have been wanting to do a get a get another PC directly um, dedicated to streaming so that my gaming PC does not have to do the streaming. I've had some quality issues on some of the games I've run, and I think part of the issue sometimes is because my gaming PC and my streaming PC are one and the same, 231.90. And people have recommended getting another build, and people have even asked to donate to the stream for a build like this. So that is kind of what I'm planning this for. Offloading streaming should make your gaming experience smoother in principle. Yeah. Stream encoding is not GPU hungry, question um, mark. I have actually, what I found is I think it's my, even, even though my OBS is using the graphics card, I have found when using OBS and streaming some games, I get some jittering, some lag, and some things. And it's, I play a lot of low, um, low spec requirement games, but when I play higher spec requirement games, that's when I start seeing it happen. You bet I've got a bunch of hoops to jump through to get it working. I don't know about that. I've built, I've built my gaming slash streaming PC once before. If I can build this new build, the hardest part to me, once everything is built, is using the, um, the capture card sometimes can cause a little bit of audio lag. One thing I was thinking about was potentially getting, I think Shogi said there's, he uses a stream deck that can help when you have audio going from different sources and stuff. I might want to look into something like that too. Uh, Micro Center in North Dallas is great for this. After you get it all figured out, you can probably go pick it up there. Yeah, maybe so. Um, so is that is that everything I would need? Processor, motherboard, memory, hard drive. Don't need a video card because we have an onboard video card and I have this old video card I can put in there if I want to. Power supply, monitor. Uh, it would have an onboard sound card, which I don't care about. I'm, I'm a little worried about this. Do you all think this is actually an issue, what this is telling me right here? See details below. The Gigabyte motherboard supports the processor. If the motherboard is using an older BIOS, upgrading the BIOS will be necessary to support the CPU. Um, do you all know what that's telling me? <laughs> It's saying the motherboard supports the processor. If the motherboard uses an older BIOS, we'll need to upgrade the BIOS. Isn't that, don't you always have to upgrade the BIOS? Isn't that something you always have to do when you put things together? Flashing BIOS is kind of irritating. Does this mean I should get a different motherboard? Um, I can go for something different. What do you think would be better to change, the processor or the motherboard? I'm thinking probably the motherboard, because this processor's probably really good. It's got the graphics card on there. Yeah, keep the CPU. So, let's look at different motherboards then. Um, the upgrade version of the BIOS with new shipped motherboards. Try going for an AS rock. They're usually long-term or liable more than most. Okay, let's look at let's look at motherboards. And you say AS rock. Um, I was told 550. Is that important? That number 550. Uh, I need an ATX. Does this number matter? The 550. I don't know exactly what that means. 550 is newer than 450. Where they update assembly your PC. I'm planning on putting this together myself. So. Um, 
So you're talking about the AS rock, that's a micro. You say AS rock, that's micro. So that would, AS rock, is there any AS rock that's not a micro? Take a B550. Uh, B550. I don't see the AS rock you're talking about that's B550. I'm okay with an MATX2 if I don't, won't be adding a lot of expansion cards. Is there no filter for 550 on the left? Um, is there? AMD B550, this. Maybe this right here. That's the chipset. There's that do it. Select ATX. ATX. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here's an AS Rock. Is this what you were talking about, Bolster Balls? The brand doesn't really matter in your opinion. It's really cheap. I'm a little worried about how cheap it is. Yeah, I have a full case, so I think ATX is is what I want. That's why we're looking at ATXs here. Uh, I could go by rating, I guess. Like Gigabyte, because they look good, but they suck. <laughs> they look good, but they suck. They make the good stuff kind of cheap. All right, well, uh, which one was it? It was AS Rock B550 Phantom Gaming. It's one of the few that's not five stars, though, so... I think I'd rather get something that's rated a little higher. Um, I mean, I guess you can't always go by ratings, but I'd rather... I'd rather trust things with lots of ratings. Uh, somebody said they don't like MSI. What about this Asus one right here? Pro or Fatality branded? Pro or Fatality branded? Be able to sort by price? I, I can. Let me go by rating here. Uh, let me see. This is probably not as important as what I'm going looking at here, but here's an AS Rock that's more highly rated. Uh, what about this one? AS Rock B550 Steel Legend. Is this any good? Does it have M2 slots? Has the PCI Express? This one looks fine, right? Kind of pricey, that's okay. If it's a little pricier, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So how do I add this to my... Add this, do I have to go back and find it again? AS Rock, Steel Legend, Steel Legend. There we go, let me add that. Okay. Compatibility. It's giving me the same thing. Uh, I'm still getting the same warning. Am I going to get this warning for everything I choose? Uh, this motherboard has an additional power connector. As you told me, motherboards update. God damn it. Their bio's in factory. Okay. The power supply does not have the 4-pin ATX connector. Higher current demands, such as extreme overclocking, large video card current draws may require it. I can disregard that one. Okay, yeah, I look. I wouldn't probably be overclocking or using large video card current draws. French John's had the same issue. Okay, well, my friends, I I think I'm gonna go with this right now. Can I save this? Save as. New stream PC build. Oh, great. I have to 
I have to be logged in. Okay. Have I logged in here before? Uh, oh, Jesus. Do I really have to register real quick? Okay, I don't have time to do this right now. I'll have to do this later. I actually have um, I have a gig at 2, so I need to end the stream. Uh, I put everything in the Excel sheet. I guess uh, I can copy-paste this little URL. So let me just copy-paste this little thing here. So there we go. There's a start. I might come back later or another day to look at more stuff. But uh, my friends, I'm going to call it there. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for your help. You, A lot of you have way more experience in PC part picking than I do. So um, I'm probably not going to stream again today. I might stream a little bit tomorrow. Again, shorter, sporadic streams are what we're looking at. But we have at least a list, and I might start a, um, a donation thing for people who want to donate to the stream about uh, getting... Uh, the new PC build, because I've had people ask about that. So probably next stream we'll have a ticker for starting to raise money towards that. But again, y'all are moss you all are awesome. Uh, are we not FTL streaking anymore? When I have time, Flurchin. This is this is I have gigs all every day almost. So until next time, my friends, I gotta run now. But y'all are amazing. Really appreciate the help. I will see you all next time. Have a great year tonight. Enjoy this sea shanty, even though we didn't FTL. We'll see you later, my friends. We've played our games and we lost some too. We've raged a bit, but we fought right through. At the end of the day, we have learned something new. Grow, my trolley friends, grow. Hey ho, the streaming is done. We've tumbled doge and we've had some fun. The day is gone and the streaming is done. Let's take our salt and go. If you thought you could play much better than me, then play yourself. You'll feel better, you'll see. No matter now, we've made our peace. Let's go, my trolley friends, go. Hey ho, the streaming is done. We've tumbled doge and we've had some fun. The day is gone and the streaming is done. Let's take our salt and go. Hey ho, the streaming is done. We tumble doge and we've had some fun. The day is gone and the streaming is done. Let's take our salt and eat our cookies. Take our cookies home.